Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 22 of 100 days 100 concepts. In this video, I'll be explaining you about weld pool and how you can calculate the composition of, you know, uh, the weld pool, the liquid weld pool which is formed while we are doing this welding. So basically welding, what type of welding usually uh, creates this weld pool? So firstly, you have different kinds of weldings and I which fusion welding is a type of welding which will give you my weld pool. So what is fusion welding? Fusion welding is a type of welding where usually my work pieces okay, or you know the materials which you are trying to join or weld are called work pieces. So the work pieces are melted okay so there will be localized melting which will help to join them right so let's say i have something like this uh, let's say i have two different uh, you know work pieces something like a and b okay and of course we know uh, one of the most famous welding is arc welding where you use some kind of filler materials okay so i think uh, at some stage or the other you would have seen practical welding also okay so what happens this filler material usually this is what a filler material is okay so this filler material will hit this particular you know um, work pieces and create some heat energy so what is welding actually welding is nothing but physical and chemical joining coalescence okay with application of heat or pressure so here in this particular example we are talking about heat so we are applying heat by creating an arc between the filler material and the work pieces so what happens is basically because of that heat of course what are the uh, different modes ac welding dc welding and all the stuff we have discussed in our full video course you can uh, check out in order to you know if you are interested so now how this liquid will be formed so usually uh, let me write something like this so something like this will be done okay so this will be created so this particular region is called usually my weld pool where you have liquid so if you see here there is slight joining already done on the lower side okay and of course this weld pool is solidified okay uh, this welding is usually undergoing rapid solidification okay so the kinetics of welding you know are very much difficult to study because you know it's too rapid it's too fast just it's uh, you know very quickly happening right so now what happens to this weld pool now what will be the composition so basically what all are the elements that are present in my world weld pool is what i am going to explain because this question was asked in gate 2020 right so i'll just explain the same question today but remember as i already said here we have three components that are getting involved into this weld pool so one is the material a material b plus filler so what i am telling is of course filler will be there but we are telling that there will be some parts of a and b melting because of the heat generated so where is it going it is also in the liquid form which is going into my weld pool itself so this melting of the base material or the work piece is called dilution okay so we usually call dilution of the base materials okay so this a b and f will be present into it and how you can calculate it basically using the surface areas you will be calculating the fractions and then finally uh, you know you can directly calculate it but now as of our question gate 2020 question is concerned we are usually getting the percentages directly so how much percentage of a is contributing to my weld pool how much percentage of b is contributing to my weld pool and of course the rest is filler material itself now so let's get started so the question is like this two plates of compositions fe 10 weight percentage nickel and fe 20 weight percentage uh, chromium and 5 percentage nickel so these two are the two plates that means the work pieces 
now these two are fusion welded okay these two plates are fusion welded so there is a formation of weld pool in this particular case using a filler rod so my filler rod has a composition of 20 percentage nickel and 80 percentage chromium okay this is the composition of my filler rod now what else uh, they are telling is the contribution to dilution of the weld pool is 20 percentage from each plate 20 percentage from each plate that means my 20 let's say if this is a and this is b 20 percent of a and 20 percent of b are diluted or dissoluted into my weld pool so here we have how much 20 percent a plus 20 percent b what is the rest 100 minus 20 plus 20 it's 60 so 60 percentage will be my filler so this will be my fraction or you can say the percentage of the weld pool okay so uh, the percentage of the constituents in the weld pool now what they are asking to find is we have to find the nickel content so how we can do so we already have the composition fraction formula right so similar if you want percentage of nickel okay in the weld pool what you'll be writing you'll be writing 20 percentage into percentage nickel in a plus just remove this 20 percentage of percentage nickel that is present in b plus what is the other thing 60 so 60 percentage into percentage nickel of course it is percentage nickel in my filler rod so if you quickly do it how much you will be getting you get this to be 20 by 100 into percentage in a is 10 plus 20 by 100 into percentage in b is 5 plus what is the other thing that you have 60 percent so 60 by 100 into percentage in filler which is 20 right so if you quickly do this we'll be getting how much uh, this is 200 this is 100 300 plus 1200 so we will be getting 1500 divided by 100 so this is equal to 15 percentage okay so this is your percentage of nickel that is present in the weld pool so i hope you understood how we used our basic idea of dissolution of the base metals and of course the compositions that is coming from the base metals and using the concept of dilution and taking the fractions you know the volume fractions or the surface area fractions from that we usually get this particular formula and using that you can easily calculate the composition not only nickel you can also find any composition right so one mistake uh, everybody does is uh, they'll forget this so, okay so many people uh, made this mistake right so you have to also remember that weld pool is not 100 percent filler material there will be some dilution that is taking place from the base materials also right so this is uh, a takeaway from this video so if you like this video please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirants and thanks for uh, incredible support i'm getting like lots and lots of uh, you know positive messages and mails so keep supporting and if you are interested if you are serious about cracking gate metallurgy then do visit our website everythingmetallurgy.com and enroll for one of the most affordable video course we are providing everything starting with basic concepts still advanced concepts including a test series at a very affordable price also if you are interested only to take test series definitely that is also there so you can definitely opt for this if you are serious about cracking gate metallurgy so i know if you are uh, seeing this video till here i know that you are interested so please do check out thank you guys meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept thank you